When I think about Disney, I imagine classic movies, especially those created when I was a child. Movies like Aladdin, Hercules, Mulan. But those classics were built on the foundation of older classics like Cinderella, Snow White, Alice in Wonderland. Speaking of Alice in Wonderland, some pretty iconic characters came from that movie that was Alice herself, the White Rabbit, Tweedledee and Tweedledum. But one of the more notable characters, to me that is, was the Mad Hatter. He was a strange madman who loved tea parties. One of my favorite renditions of the Mad Hatter was created by director Tim Burton and Johnny Depp brought that character to life. So in today's video, let's take a journey and explore the possibilities of what an Air Jordan 1 High Mad Hatter edition would look like if I designed it. First off, we're gonna prep the shoe. Now, be sure to properly prep any canvas that you're working on. For leather shoes, you should at least use acetone or leather prep and deglazer by Angelus Direct. Using sandpaper also creates a better bond for your paint. Uh, I have an entire music video actually dedicated to that process and you can visit that video after this one. The link will be in the bio or in the top corner. For the design process, I found a photo that I liked and I did the best to transfer that look onto the shoe. I used elements like the color of the hair, the top pattern of the hat, the scarf that was wrapped around the hat, uh, the hat embellishments, the pants, the jacket, and the front half of a shoe will represent his pale face and makeup. Now I'll be quiet a little bit and just let you guys enjoy the paint process. Over on my Instagram, I did something different this time and I walked you guys through the process of me doing my shoe. I typically like to wait until the end, until my shoe is done before it's revealed. But for this shoe, whenever I was working on a specific panel, I made a video for it and I posted over on my Instagram. And if that's something that you guys like, let me know down below in the comments. Now that the painting is done, let's focus on this upper back panel. I initially attempted to paint a silk pattern, but I wasn't feeling it. So I decided to take it up a notch and use actual silk fabric material that I got from Amazon. I made a template first by using some tape and a napkin. Then I used backing to make a more sturdy base for the silk fabric to lay on. I used Gorilla Spray adhesive to glue the pieces down and in the shape that I wanted. And once I got those laid down, I trimmed off all the excess. Once it was down in the shape that I wanted, I then went to the sewing machine. I sewed it all together because I wanted to have that stitching pattern. I glued it down with some E600 and clamped it for a few hours and it isn't going anywhere. Uh, at this point, I'm going to be working on some more details for the shoe, like the tongue tag. I've made tongue tags in the past before. This time I actually sewed them down using my shoe patcher. After that, I wanted to make a hang tag and I went with the teapot from the original Alice in Wonderland cartoon. Uh, so I sculpted it up in Nomad Scope, printed it out, sanded it up and painted it. And it looks good to me. I also use resin where the liquid part is just so it can have that shiny wet look. 
So now it's time to work on the details that go in the scarf of his hat, uh, the little card that says 10-6 on it. And then I use some stick pins and I use some other trinkets that I found around the house and you know um, sealed them all together painted it all the same color gold which you won't see here but you'll see in the end results and i stuck them on the hat i ordered a feather from amazon as well uh next it's time to seal these puppies up using whatever finisher you would like to use i typically like spraying on my finisher because it does look a little bit better to me but in this case because i wanted different sheens for different sections i went with the brush on uh, and i used liquid kicks for this part Thank you guys for watching my video. I want to give a shout out to all my Patreons and my Instagram subscribers. Y'all are some real ones. If you want to join those, click the link down below for my Patreon or go over to my Instagram and subscribe there. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next one. And remember, always enjoy the journey.